reason. That's awesome. So I literally made my money back game that these guys. Pretty much yeah, I just got a free power. Yeah. You probably won't, because I had to do it like the door when it closed, so I had to close the door, and I had to bang on the machine because it was, it went like, the spine set just kind of fell down.
Their best player, though. I'm trying to think of her name. Wood River? Yeah. And they gained a bath in the Like, gained somebody that liked their bath. One, two, one, two. High school. Before I introduce our starting lineups, I would like everybody to rise, if you would, please, and join me in a prayer before we turn it over to the GICC pep band, directed by Monica Peters, directed this evening by Molly Mueller, 
as they play our national anthem. Let us pray. Father, thank you for giving me life, and thank you for giving me the talent to play this game of basketball. Help me to play up to my capabilities this evening, to use my powers to the fullest, and to see them as gifts from you. Be with me when I must deal with the pain of injury, disappointment, or loss, and always keep me aware of the brotherhood and sisterhood that I need to have with all players involved in this battle. Also free me from all temptation to play below the game's standards and grant me the wisdom to always respect those who officiate our games. And if possible, Father, please get us through this game safely and without injury. And finally, Lord, give us the grace to be humble in victory and gracious in defeat. In his name we pray, amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Eagles, number three, a five-six senior Sage Gideon, number five, a five-eight senior Kiernan Polk, number eleven, a five-nine senior Boston Boucher, number twenty-four, a five-seven senior Bailey Codner, and number forty, a five-eleven senior Hannah Polk. The Eagles are coached by Phil Smith, assisted by Lori Peters, and former GICC great Amber Wadashevsky Kulis. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your starters for the Central Catholic Crusaders. Number four, a 5'6 senior, Alexis Mudloff. Number 12, a 5'4 junior, Jenna Heidel. Number 22, a 5'6 junior, Alyssa Wilson. Number 24, a 5'9 junior, Riley Rice. And number 42, a 6'2 junior, Chloe Cloud. The 12 and 0 Crusaders are coached by Stacia Rice, assisted by Maria Tibbetts, Mackenzie Dunham, and Howard Schumann. Your officials for this evening, Mendy Rudolph. Joey Crawford and Zach Zarba. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. All right, it looks like we're going to have Boston Bowger and Chloe Claude for the tip here to start the night. It'll be a toss-up and it'll go to the Eagles. The Eagles are going to fast break here in the left. Jenna Heidelk is going to get a foul there. It's an early foul in the first four seconds of the game. Karen and Pollock out the line shooting two. Going to be a great game tonight. Two really good teams. Yes. One ranked five in their class and... One ranked number one in their class. 
Karen and Hulk knocks down both. Jenna Haida will take it out mid-court. Looks like they're trying to set up an early play here. Riley Rice is going to go to the corner. Rolling off some screens, not going to be open. Rose Wilson catches in the corner. And it looks like Bailey Codner is going to get a hand on it. It'll go out of bounds. Maintain Crusader ball. Hyduck's going to be guarded by Boucher. A future college basketball player. <clears throat> they get it into Cloud, who's going to turn around and put up the two. It's going to be no good. She's going to get her own board. And Wilson's going to catch the drive. And that ties the game up. Karen Polk, another layup. This time, no good. Sage Gideon recovers the offensive board. Hannah Polk is twins. Twins. Huh. Bailey Codner thinks about the three. No. Good, but Hannah Polk is going to miss the mid-range J and the ball go out of bounds to the Crusaders. I think that was off Boston Boucher there. Crusaders run that same play. Wilson Wilson is wide open in the corner. They dish it inside to Cloud, who is not able to finish there. Rebounded by Hannah Polk. Chloe Cloud is sniper on the court. She'll hit the deck. Tries to get back on D. Hannah Polk can't quite finish a two. And Riley Rice is going to get fouled by Bailey Codner. What a great hustle play to get back down the court by Chloe Cloud there. Riley Rice seemed to catch a shoulder maybe to the nose. He's holding her. That one hurts, let me tell you. She might have a bloody nose. And Grace Herbeck will check into the game, substituting for Riley Rice. Oh, there she does. I saw the blood on her finger. We have a bloody nose. Grace Herbeck, excellent team player. Lisa Wilson, corner three, no good. Now with Riley at Rice out, some other players will have to step up they because will for sure. taking away that scoring could really hurt the Crusaders. Yep. Looks like Bailey Codner is going to drive out to Boston Bowger, three point line. Bowger making moves. Kicks it to Karen and Polk in the corner. She'll hold it. Some dribble handoffs. Boston Bowger, mid range two, and it's good. A little floater there for the senior. Pretty sure she was, she's was. she been a four-year starter for Wood River. A very talented player. Yeah. Chloe Cloud, Grace Herbeck, long to no good. Out of bounds there on Alyssa Wilson. Kind of threw that out of bounds. Yeah, couldn't quite get her hand on top of that though. Yeah. Screen there by Hannah Pollock. Thought about the three. Austin Bowser, step back. No, not going to take the three pointer. Bailey Codner will pull up the mid range J, and after a long hesitation, it'll fall. And Riley Rice looks to be checking back into the game. Yep. A quick cure of the nosebleed by our trainer, Andrew Spencer. Grace Herbeck's ball is going to be intercepted by Karen and Polk. They'll try to go fast break. Sage Gideon going to look to drive. Her ball is almost going to be stolen by Jenna Heidel, but Bailey Codner holds it up top. Hannah Polk just sitting there wide open on the three-point line, but she is not going to take it. The Crusader student section was really pushing her to take that. They definitely were. <laughs> Bailey Codner holds it up top again. Okay. 
<laughs> Grace Herbeck smiled after she tripped and fell. It kind of looked like she got crossed there and there's going to be a foul. Real physical game. Yep. No a lot fouls of trips. Alyssa you know, Wilson. Yeah, Looks like Reagan Gillitly and Riley Rice check back into the game for Alyssa Wilson and Jenna Heidel. Sage Gideon, wide open three, is unable to make the Crusaders pay, and the ball will go out of bounds and stay with the Eagles. I think that was off Riley Rice or Chloe Clad. Yep. It was off one of them. Kieran and Polk for three, it'll be no good. The long air ball will go to the Crusaders. A very energetic Seder Nation tonight. Yeah, they're probably really happy to be back. They haven't been back in a while. Yep. One of, the, one of their only, one of their first games back. Especially since the boys are have a game tonight, all of them are in that student section being on. Grace Herbert thought about the three. And a foul oh. there called on. Number five. Yep, I think Karen and Polk, she might have, when she was going for the ball, just gave Chloe Cloud a little bit of body there. I'm guessing that's what the ref saw. Yeah. Grace Herbeck, mid-range J, splash. And that cuts uh, Woodrivers' lead to only two. The 2-3 two, zone by the Crusaders. Or 1-3-1, one, one, I guess. Oh, wow. She got her that own rebound. That is smart rebound. basketball. Hannah Pollock got her own rebound and put it right back up. Chloe Cloud hit the deck there again. Shoes must be slippery tonight. Grace Herbeck thinks about the three but doesn't take it. Galilee will hold up top, dribbling back and forth. They try to run a design play to Riley Rice. It's not there. Galilee will hold it up the top again. She picks up her dribble. Her pass is just a little high to Grace Herbeck. It looks like Jenna Heidel is going to get Reagan Gellerly for a quick sub. From my point of view, I felt like that hit Kierman, uh, not Kieran Paul, uh, Bailey Codner a little bit, but it might have. I think I think it might have. Yeah, I think it was. Too. I think it might have too. Looks like assistant coach Maria Tibbetts is talking with Grace Herbeck and Reagan Gellerly about what went on in that, those last two possessions there. Alyssa Wilson is almost going to get a steal. But I think when she got the steal, the ball went out of bounds. Yep. Yep, ball in just on that blue. And Jenna Rar Ra will take the ball out. Austin Bowser picks up her dribble, able to get off to Sage Gideon, who's going to hold it at the top of the key. Anna Polk, wide open three, doesn't take it again. She's really, she might be feeding in that peer pressure just a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls one later in the game. Yeah. Austin Bowser almost a step back three, but she will pull. One of the best defenders on her right now, Lexi Mudloff. Yep, Lexi Mudloff, very good at defense. Arguably one of the better defensive players to the Crusaders. Sage Gideon is going to drive and be blocked by Chloe Cloud. The ball will go out of bounds and stay with the Eagles. She got rejected there. Yep. Chloe Cloud just, just a little taller than Sage Gideon. Just a little bit. Five seconds call. The momentum mm. is all in the Crusaders' favor. Crusaders definitely need to capitalize on that this possession with a bucket. Or maybe a three. Nobody knows. Crusaders running that play again. And wow. Some emotion shown on the court by both teams there. Looks like we're going to have a foul on Chloe Cloud. I think that is her second foul of the game. No, that is her first. 
Crusaders just giving up a lot of turnovers trying to get on the inside. Not a bad thing, though, because they're being really, really aggressive. They are. They're getting it to the inside, which is what we want to do, but we just need to get that a little more open, the court a little more spacious before <laughs> we try to do so. And there's one minute left in the first quarter. Karen and Polk is going to pass it to Boston. Bowger is making some moves. Lexi Muloff, some more good D. I think Boston Bowger only has two or three points right now. She does. Most teams, I would say, would, could not hold her this year. No, this time she's going to take the three-pointer, and it's going to be good. <laughs> Definitely cannot leave her open this game if you are the Crusaders. Yeah. Might have jinxed the Crusaders a little bit there. Yeah. I think you did. Went right through Riley Rice's hands, but she got the ball back. Lexi Mudloff skip pass to Jenna Heidel, who's not going to shoot. Skip pass back to Lexi Mudloff. Riley Rice is going to hold on the wing, almost set back three. Chloe Cloud catches at the top of the key, but she will not finish. The ball's going to go out of bounds and end up going to the ears. I feel like that might have been off the ego there. It Maybe. very well could have been. 2.8 seconds left in the first quarter. And Wood River is leading by eight. Karen and Paul, the buzzer beater, no good. And the score is 11 for Wood River in the lead. We'll see what Coach Stacey Rice has to talk up her team to do to score more than the first four points going into the second quarter here. Start off the second quarter, Jenna Heidelk will be dribbled at the top of the key, guarded by Boston Badger. Boston Boucher with the steal, and she's looking to push. She'll hold up Karen and Paul to the drive, and she's going to be fouled, hanging the line. Crusaders really have to switch something up on the offensive side of the court right now if they want to have a chance at hanging in this ball game. That one set play does not seem to be working. It doesn't. They have yet to run something else. I think it, they might need to switch it up here in the second quarter. Yes, maybe they will be. A quick sub for Reagan Gelling, Grace Herbeck, taking out Lexi Mudloff and Alyssa Wilson. They go for a different play. Grace Herbeck, wide open three-pointer. Almost banks it in from the corner. Boston Bowser with an easy board, though. Wow, the Wood River student section is very hyped up. I don't know why they are, though. I mean, they, they are kind of dominating the number one ranked C1 girls right now. Yeah. But, and also, I'm guessing a lot of the boys there are on the basketball team, so they'd like to see their girls win. Mm-hmm. We all knew this was going to be a good game. Yep. It also, Boston Bowger almost pulls a three. It's also going to be a good game on Saturday when uh, Central Catholic girls, ooh, Riley Rice is going to get an interception here. Great interception by Riley Rice. And she'll finish. When the Central Catholic girls play Adam Central. Yes, I think that is at Adam Central. I'm not entirely sure, yeah. though. Adam Central, a pretty good defensive team, held the Crusaders to four points a couple of years ago. 
in their sub-district game. Yeah, and also that boys game will be amazing. It will, yeah. Some great matchup in the post, Day Jingmer versus I'm pretty I don't exactly know who the Adam Central Post is, but I know they're really good. It'll be a foul called on number forty, Hannah Paul. I think the real difference right now is the fouls. I mean, the Crusaders have five. And the Whatever Eagles only have three. I mean, eventually the, they're gonna, it, the bonus is going to really matter in this game. No, oh, for the cloud. She knows she should have got up there. She's pretty frustrated with herself right now. Yeah, she had a real big mismatch there. Yep. Crusaders, they're running a different design play now. Yeah, it seems to be actually working. Yep, they just haven't really capitalized on their opportunities Yeah. thus far in the second quarter. Sage Gideon going to give it to Hannah Paul or uh, Karen and Paul on the drive play. Cloud will block her and the ball will go out of bounds. Yep. That was a good block. Yeah, very good. Thanks. And the Crusaders set up in the 2 3 zone. If the Crusaders really want to win this game, they have got to take away Boston Badger from the Eagles. Yep. They haven't done a horrible job of it tonight. I think Boston Badger has probably 40% of the team's points. A deep three for Boucher, and she is off the mark. Alexis Mudloff checks in for Reagan Gatley there. Jenna Hideout will take it up to court. They get in the cloud. Jenna Hideout, top of the three. Mm. And gets her own rebound almost. Wow. Shots just not falling for the Crusaders this far this game, nor really the Eagles. Granted, the Eagles have taken a lot fewer shots than the Crusaders. Yeah. A lot of their points have actually been from the free throw line. Yep. I'm guessing 50% of their points have been from the three point line. Yeah. Bailey Codner is going to be fouled by Jenna Hideout. Jenna Hideout picking up her second foul. Never mind, foul will go to Riley Rice there. My bad. Play Cloud, almost gonna get the steal. Ball will stay with the Eagles. Carolyn Mazur, the freshman, coming in for Grace Herbeck. A new addition to the bench this game, Hannah Galilee, younger sister of Reagan Galilee. A very good sophomore on the JV team. Yeah, just got a varsity jersey this week. Great player on JV though. Um, usually has 50% to 70% of the team's points. Ooh. Number 20, Macy Peters is just gonna miss. Lexi Mumbaugh had a great idea, but oh, and a jump ball, and it will be possession arrow to the Eagles. Eagles. Called there on Chloe Cloud. Yeah, I don't know what the foul was on. All right, just some pushing around there in the paint. Yep. And I think now the Eagles are in the bonus. Gary Serbeck was up in for Jenna Heidel. I mean, this could really hurt. Uh, the Crusaders right now because they're in a they're already in the bonus, whatever it is. So almost can't foul them. Yep, pretty much. 
And they still have four minutes left before the half. Yeah. So hopefully the Crusaders cannot dig their sophomores to get a hole. Yep. The second shot will fall there for Macy Peters. Lexi Mudloff takes it up. Grace Herbeck catches it, tries to drive baseline. Carolyn Mazur back to Chloe Cloud with the mid range J. That is very healthy. Yeah, the Crusaders are only down by eight now. Oh, not down by eight, but down by seven. Definitely still going to have to dig themselves out of a major hole they've created in the first quarter. Sage Gideon for three. That's no good. Kayla Mazur with the board. Riley Rice is going to look to push here. And she's going to hold up. Lexi Mudloff now holds at the top of the key. Grace Herbeck, the wing, is good for the three. That cuts the lead for uh, Wood River only to four. Wow, what a change of events. Karen and Polk is going to be no good. But Lexi Mudloff with the board. She's looking to push now. They're going to get a Chloe Cloud. Wow. Crusaders are on a roll, and that is a quick timeout call by Wood River. They Only need it. Crusaders are on fire two. here. Only down by two now. Made it a one possession game. Yeah, we said they needed to dig themselves out of the hole, and they have done so in the second quarter. Yep. Two minutes and 58 seconds remain. Karen and Polk holds it at the top of the key. Boston Bowger gets it. <laughs> Maybe it just took three. a little too long to shoot that through, but she ended up not taking it. Yeah. Hannah Polk oh, and Chloe Cloud is caught with two hands on Hannah Polk. Got kind of trapped there off the screen. Yep, Chloe Cloud picks up her second foul. Anna Pollock for her first, and she makes it. Making the Wood River lead by three. And she makes her second. A very good free throw shooter so far tonight for Wood River. Yeah. I think she is. She's 68% on the year for free throws, but tonight, I'm, I, has she missed? I don't think she has. Oh! Almost a turnover for the Crusaders there, but Lexi Mudloff will catch on the wing. They get it into Chloe Cloud. She's gonna kick it out to Mudloff. Thinks about the three, but is gonna hold up, and they're gonna try to force it into Chloe Cloud, and she's gonna get fouled. It's and gonna it, be on the floor, though. Yeah, and they and the Crusaders aren't in the bonus, so they will not be able to get in line. Nope. Foul is going to be on number 20, Macy Peters. Or, excuse me, number 10, Jenna Rout. Riley Rice is going to drive, and she's going to be fouled. Okay. This foul is going to be on number 3, Sage Gideon. Grace Herbeck, another three. Ah, oh, this time no good. Boston Bowser with the board. <laughs> Lexi Mudloff and Jenna Heidelker are going to pick up a steal there. Boston Bowser just dribbled right into Heidelker and lost control of the ball. Could have arguably could have been a foul. Lexi Mudloff, wide open three, no good. Chloe Cloud with a great board. 
Just was in the right place at the right time there. Grace Herbeck in a drive baseline. Carolyn Mazur. The backside cut. Ooh. Oh, almost the and one. That would have been a great and one there for Riley Rice. Foul's going to be on, I believe, number three, Sage Gideon. That's two fouls for her in the last minute. Yeah. Somebody who has not really been a contributor tonight, um, number five, Kieran Pollock, but she usually she has 210 points on the year. Yep. Almost as much as Boston Badger. I mean, those two kind of the top scorers for the Eagles. And, oh, yes, Carolyn Mazur will head to the line. Shitting two. Hey, that's your sister. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if Carolyn knocks down both here. Easy. And that makes nine points of the year in nice. varsity. She is 12 for 17 on free throws. Or no, she's two for two. Sorry. Clay Cloud is 12 for 17. Absolute money. Like clockwork will. <laughs> the lead is still two for the Eagles. The Crusaders have come back in the second quarter. I don't know what Stacia Rice said to them, but the, it got them going. It did. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks. The Crusaders student section not very happy about that. They're not quite clouds. Going to pick up a foul there. That'll send number 20, Macy Peters, to the line. Looks like Alyssa Wilson is going to check into the game. Wouldn't be surprised if it's for Chloe Cloud. Macy Peters from the line is... Um, Alyssa Wilson coming in for Chloe Cloud. Alyssa Wilson also with two fouls. Going to have to be very careful in the last minute of play before the half. Because she can be a big contributor tonight. She is, especially if she gets on fire. Yeah. Once she gets rolling, it's almost impossible to stop her. Same thing with Riley Grice. Yep. And Jenna Heidel. Yeah. Once the Crusaders start scoring a bunch of points, unless you call a timeout, it's almost unstoppable. They're unstoppable most of the time. Yep. Grace Herbeck going to catch on the wing. Skip it back to Lexi Mudloff. Alyssa Wilson's going to be wide open in the corner. The skip pass all the way over to Grace Herbeck. Ooh, and the tip pass by Boston Bowger. Grace Herbeck might get in there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, almost an and one for Boucher there. Not to mention, though, Lucy Giffon is not here tonight, which would is probably going to hurt the Crusaders. But, I mean, it's crazy. Without her, they've, I think, gone 4-0. Yeah. But, I mean, it's... She's arguably one of the best players on the Central Catholic. Yeah, Crusaders. she's a great and player. She makes a very big difference. Yeah, but that just shows that this bench can really step up. They can. All three seniors? Yep. They're pretty good. They're really good. And that was a real question. Who was going to replace the scoring for the Crusaders yet last year with Ellie Stinson and Katie Macy? Yep. Yep, the juniors definitely stepped up. A lot of them starting. 30 seconds remain in the second quarter. Carolyn Mazur, Reagan Gelly going to catch a high pass. She probably had a shot. It could have been a little lower. Carolyn Mazur gets it inside. It's going to be fouled. fouled. Great. Another easy two points for the Crusaders. That'll make the lead three for the Eagles going into half, which is arguably pretty good. Yeah, I mean, well, you I know never know. Stacia Rice doesn't look too happy right now. Looks like Amanda Kolb's going to get a seven. She must not be happy with Riley. I have no idea. I don't exactly know which, but. Nope. We have a, a Crusader shooting free throws. Oh, oh she's going to miss it. 
but the Crusaders might get the rebound. They do, and possession error is to the Crusaders after the jump ball, so Crusaders are going to have a chance to have an out-of-bounds play for 4.5 seconds. Yep. This could really help the Crusaders. They get a three. This turns it into a one-point game. Riley Rice coming in for, oh, Stacia Rice is going to take a timeout here. Might as well. I mean, they could, they're they going to probably run into a set play just to. Yep, definitely going to try. I mean, you don't really have time to take the ball up top and make a play, so they're just going to try to get a last second shot here. Hopefully yep. a three to make the lead only by one for the Eagles. But even a two would help. I mean, it would it would tremendously help, especially in a decently low scoring game like this one. Yeah, I mean, what it's looking like, there's only gonna be like the winners only probably gonna have 40, 40 points. Yep, yep. Out. This uh, this game will count for uh, conference seeding though. Yes, it will. For the teams, I believe Thursday night is when they cut that off so the Adam Central game Crusaders win or lose will not matter for their conference team yes conference is coming up and I feel like the Crusaders boys are really looking for some revenge against Carney Catholic their only loss of the year four seconds left three Riley Rice takes a three and oh she's barely off it's gonna be no good your lead at half the Eagles have the Crusaders by four with a score of 20 to 16 Stacia Rice just needs to do some more talking up here to their girls before the third quarter. And stay tuned because the Crusader dance team is about to perform for halftime. Are they performing? I don't I don't see them. I don't know if they're performing. Oh. Maybe not. Either way, we'll be back for some more action in the third quarter.
I like the blueberry. You like the blueberry? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I haven't had the blueberry. You haven't had the blueberry? I had the blueberry. Yes, yes, I had it all over. I told you all this. Yeah. I wish there was more lemonade in it, though. There's still like 30 boxes of those in my garage. It's actually in my sister's garage. How old is Sharon? Sharon's a freshman. We're not gonna hire her. Oh, 15. When's her birthday? October. I, I don't remember the exact date. Yeah, for the band. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. To start the second half, Wood River will have possession. Bailey Codner holds it at the top of the key. Gonna be screen. Hannah Polk. No. No dice. Sage Gideon catches the wing. Boston Bowser now holds it in the corner. She'll drive. She tries so she can lay up and is not going to get the foul call she was looking for. Crusaders only down by four. Ooh, mm. Alyssa Wilson. Her free throw is going to be no good. Boston Bowser now on a fast break. And she's going to hold off and finish with the left. That puts the lead up to six for Wood River. Clay Cloud, great left hand finish on the inside. Just a big mismatch there. Yep, definitely gonna have to take advantage of those opportunities. Especially when you have Kieran and Polk only, she's only 5'8", and I think she's one of the tallest players on the team. Boston Bowger is gonna not get the foul again that she was looking for. Jenna Heidel will dribble it down, and Rob Wilson will catch in the corner. Three is no good. Oh, that would have been that would have been a table turner right there had she knocked that sucker down. Yeah, it would have been only a one point game, but still, I mean, a four point game is not bad at all. Nope. Two possessions. If you really think about it, what's that? I mean, it's not, not very much. Not that hard. Oh! Boy, Cloud, another block. She got rejected there. Wow. Boy, Cloud, second or third time she's blocked Sage Gideon there. Sage Gideon might have to switch it up, maybe go to the left. Yeah, volleyball kind of kicked in there. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Serbeck subs in for Alyssa Wilson. Jenna Heider. Ooh. She should have shot that. Little three in the corner. Chloe Cloud didn't catch again. And, and she's she be pushed in the back by down. Hannah Hulk. Good call by the referee. Yeah. Now the Crusaders have got to take advantage of that. They have nobody um, that's even really close to her size. Nope. Besides Hannah Pollock. But in order to win, or in order not to win, but in order to capitalize on these, Cloud Cloud's going to knock down these free throws for the Crusaders. Yeah. I mean, there, there's not really anybody close to her size. I mean, they're all five. They're all five, like six, usually uh, most of the Eagles, which really helps people. I yeah. mean, Cloud Cloud knocks down the second. The lead down to a one possession game. <laughs> Bailey Connor's gonna hold it up top. Student section trying to get in her head a little bit. Oh! Some good yep. defense there, but nope. called for foul. Yep. 
Good call by the referee. Yeah. That was, it was definitely a body foul there. A soft foul, but definitely a foul. Ooh. A okay. very late call. And some of the Crusader fans are not very happy. More like all of the Crusader fans are not very happy. I think that was a little too late of a foul to uh, yeah. call that. I mean, yeah. but maybe we'll see. Carolyn Mazer now comes in. Cloud with three, and Stacia Rice is going to decide to keep her in with five minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter. I mean, if she fouls out, that could be a huge loss for Crusaders. Without a doubt, be a huge factor. It's going to be a foul on number 10, Jenna Art. Holy Cloud's going to get, ooh. Oh. Kayla Mazur almost gets the offensive board. Crusaders really need to capitalize on those opportunities that are given to them there. Every possession counts in this game. Boston Moucher with the deep three, and she is off. Riley Rice going to pick up a rebound off the hands of Chloe Cloud. John, oh. Lexi Mudloff. Mudloff for three. Yes! yes. Bang! 22-24. Eagles still lead. Hopefully that gives the Crusaders big momentum. Ooh, oh! Chloe Cloud going to pick up her fourth foul. And I do I, not know where that foul was. I, I think it was just another body foul. That's her fourth foul. Station Rice definitely going to have to sub her out now. Looks like Alyssa Wilson will come in. You would have liked to save her her fourth foul for around the fourth quarter, but yeah, it's going to be unfortunate. A big loss for the Crusaders now for the remainder of the third quarter. But, I mean, the size difference really helped, but now when other people have to step up. Jenna Rart, it's going to be a jump ball. And that will be the possession arrow to the Crusaders. Good play by Alyssa Wilson. Jenna Hideout going to get in the corner. She'll pass it to Wilson on the key. Riley Rice will not hold up top. She thinks about that three. Is going to drive to the right. And going to drive back to the left. Boston Boucher will just take it away from her. Sage Gideon, holding the ball, almost tipped away to favor of the ice. Boston Bowger picks it up, they'll get it into Karen Polk at the high post. Rart has it down low, Boston Bowger is gonna drive, put up another floater. This one's no good. Lexi Bloodbaugh for the rebound. Ooh, oh my God. Turnover on the Crusaders. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the third. Boston Bowger, wide open three, no good, off back iron. Lexi Bubba for the board, kicks up to Riley Rice, and she's gonna hold good decision there. It would have been a two on one.
Wilson for three, no good. That could have... Some great defense by Riley Rice there. Bailey Cotter holds it on the left wing, passes to Jenna Rock in a low post, kicks up Sage Gideon back to Bailey Cotter. Karen and Pollock is going to get the high post and drive and make an easy two. She was just not really, no one really stepped in front of her. She just drove right to the basket and put up the two. But that could have been actually a good decision by the Crusaders because she could have gotten maybe an and one there. Yeah, definitely could have been fouled. A very loud offense, defense chant. Jenna Hido for three, no good. Ooh, ooh. Oh! Dang. What? Okay. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> a lot of, uh, I don't even know what that is called, but Jenna Hido gonna pull another three. Oh. This time, no good. Ooh, a foul. Might have been a uh, jump ball. I, I thought it was going to be a jump ball, but it's going to be a foul on Carolyn Mazur. Sorry, Will. <laughs> it's only her second foul, but Crusaders def definitely don't want to get in foul trouble. Look at Chloe Cloud with four, Heidelk with three, Herbeck, Wilson, and Mazur with two. You eliminate the foul shots here. I mean, Shade's probably up by five. Definitely. It looks like the Eagles are going to be in the quick bonus here. Wow. Good basketball by the Eagles on the last possession. Heidelk for three, no good, but a jump, jump ball. ball. The threes aren't falling for the Crusaders right now. They really need to figure something else out. A little more spatial awareness on the court is really what they need. The Eagles kind of shutting down the post. You gotta open that up. Maybe go four out, one in. Yeah, maybe the Crusaders might wanna start, I don't know it. There's a lot of backside help by the Eagles. Yeah. I mean, actually, a press would actually probably help. Yeah, that would. As long as they decide to get in front of it, Boston Badgers three is going to be no good. At the end of the third quarter, Eagles up by six with a score of 28 to 22. This could get close in the fourth quarter. Uh, we just need another Crusader end of second quarter push or midway through second quarter push. And I mean, maybe back in. the Crusaders have proven that they can come back. They can. Yep. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Ooh, Riley Rice's pass is going to be high to Carolyn Mazur. Thrown out of bounds there almost. Chloe Cloud is in there for the Crusaders. Playing with four. But, I mean, 
the decision actually probably is a pretty good decision because when you really think about it, when you really 100% think about it, that's really what the Crusaders need, yep. some post just to start scoring. Riley Rice, deep three, and that's good. That was clutch. Four a minutes. Big in. three for Riley Rice. 100% is correct. 25-28 now, seven minutes and 15 seconds remain. John Heidel almost gets the steal there. Don't pick up a foul. The last thing we want to do is let Wood River get into the bonus. And there's going to be a block. We do not want Wood River to get the bonus. Also, that would have Heidel have four fouls. That definitely would. And Cloud have four fouls, two of the best players on the team. Yep. And that could really make a difference if... Riley Rice is going to intercept the pass. Rice. Gets it up to Heidel. Who's gonna do the double oh. clutch? Clay Cloud is the board! In the point, in the lead is cut down but to one for the Eagles. An early spark there for the Crusaders. Crusaders coming out firing. Don't want to give up a bucket here. An airmail pass by Karen Polk to Boston Bowser. Some great defense! Crusaders are looking like a whole different team right now. They definitely are a tying out by the Eagles. Crusaders came out firing in the fourth quarter. The one bad thing is, is that last time the, the Eagles took a timeout, it kind of took a lot of momentum against the, away from it the did. Crusaders. They definitely need to keep it up. Stacia definitely needs to keep up the hype there on the bench before the timeout ends. Yes, very much so. Alrighty, a big possession. Crusaders coming off a 5-0 run, which is very big in this low scoring game. Chloe Cloud catching inside, oh. almost gonna be fouled. Hannah Paul gonna come up with the board and she steps out of bounds. It'll go with the Crusaders. Chloe Cloud really backed off there. She did not want to get her fifth. Nope. John, or, uh, Riley Rice gets into Jenna Heidel. Jenna, oh, and she's fouled! No! Oh, he was called a travel. Hmm. Personal, I just thought that was a step back, but. Yep, I don't know. She might have had that. She might not have played on two feet. I do not know, but it'll be a turnover on the Crusaders either way. Lexi Mudloff hits the floor. Wow. Karen and Polk is going to hit the rim five times before it rolls in. Shooter's touch, as one would say. Score of 30 to 27. Hide Elk going to go over the two and, and one. one. A chance to tie the game for the first time since the start of the game for the Crusaders. This could be the biggest free throw. It could. And there's still six minutes left to game play. This I mean, is a huge free throw. Because this gives the momentum to the Crusaders big time. She and she wrong. sinks it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Very clutch player. Wow, the student section for the Crusaders. We are tied at 30s. Both student sections really fired up. That is kind of making a difference. And Jenna Heidel with the steal. Lexi Mudloff. Again, the Carolyn Mazur, the turnaround. She puts it up. Can't quite finish. She gets her board, puts it up, and it's in. Carolyn Mazur, the freshman, for two. Wow. That's your sister, man. <laughs> and the Crusaders have all the momentum. Bailey Connor will hold it up top. Boston Bowger at the top of the key. Pass it back to Bailey Connor on the wing. 
Skips it to Sage Gideon. Back to Bailey Connor at the top of the key. A few shots exchange or a few passes exchanged around the perimeter. Karen and Paul with a drive in the left. It's gonna be no good. Coy Cloud picks up a good board. John Heido could take it down the court. Another bucket would be very nice. I mean that. Jenna Heiduck, ooh. ooh. Good thing she gets in Carolyn Mazur. Good read there. And oh. one. Come on. Carolyn Mazur taking control of the game with one hand right now for the Crusaders. Wow. I have no words, but wow. Jenna Heiduck. Full respect for her not taking that three. Seeing that Carolyn Mazur was one-on-one -on -one in the post and passing it to her. And they had no excuse but to foul her. That is a great team player right there. Oh, but Chloe Cloud is fouled. Oh, and she's going to pick up her fifth. Wait, what? I don't, that's, mm. I don't exactly know what that was. And that is the fifth foul for Chloe That's Cloud. That's going to be an unfortunate loss for the Crusaders. Chloe Cloud not going to be able to play the rest of the game. But do not let this hurt the momentum of the Crusaders. They need to keep their momentum. Stacia Rice cannot be hanging her head right now. She needs to keep her team in the game and focus and say that, hey, we are on a, what is it, like 8-0 run right now? Yeah, and the Crusaders, they... Chloe Cloud, if she's on the bench, she could really make a difference from the bench, just she hyping can. up her teammates. Yep, definitely. Definitely do not let this get in the head of the Crusaders. Carolyn Mazer right now is scoring the po points in the post. Chloe Cloud might be getting the rebounds, but. I mean, rebounds can make a difference, but if you rebound, if you, but if you score on every possession that you get, yep. there's really that, it, it really it would help. On Chloe Cloud, though. I, I don't know, maybe just a little too much body. But Sage Gideon will take it up the top of the key. The 2 3 zone, Crusaders will be playing on defense. This is probably the closest game the Crusaders have been in. Yep. The Carney Catholic game was close, but not as close as this. Nope. And not as like big as this. Yeah, this game definitely. Because this gives you the number one seed in conference. Yeah. Close town rivalry, I mean. A lot of just passing around right now. Bailey Codner will hold it. Gets it into Karen and Polk, who's not going to drive this time. Pass it back to Bailey Codner. Karen and Polk is going to miss that two, but Hannah Polk is going to get the rebound and try to throw it off her ankle. And, and it'll be Crusaders' ball! That is a great call by the referee. He watched the ball all the way until the end of the play. Bounced off about three legs there before it finally kicked off Hannah Polk's shoot. And I will say, though, this is crazy to the point where Everything can make a difference. Yes, definitely every possession counts as we enter under four minutes left in the ball game. A defense and offense oh, chant, and Jenna Heidelk's gonna dribble it off of her foot. I mean, the student fan, student section, both student sections might cause an earthquake, it seems like. Yep, it is pretty loud in here. Student section not even that big right now for the Crusaders. But yeah, but... Usually that student section is all the way up. Boston Bowger going to pull a three. Oh, oh it's going to run out. That would have been a game changer, putting the lead only to one for the Crusaders. They're up by four. Grace Herbeck passes up the open three. Carolyn Mazur one on one in the post. She's posting up, and they're going to. Stacia Rice is going to call a timeout before the five seconds is called. Wow. I, I think that was a great decision by Coach yep. Rice there. See how on that last possession, Carolyn Mazur was one-on-one -on -one with Hannah Polk in the post, and she's been doing pretty well against her yeah. so far in the fourth quarter. But so much of suffocation on the that side of the court yeah, by all the Crusaders. Super, super they need hard. to just spread it out a little yep. more and so that way they're able to feed the ball into Carolyn Mazur for a turnaround, too. One of the biggest things in basketball, which a lot of people don't understand, it's not always shooting. It's not always defense. It's not always rebounding. Floor spacing is key. Yep. Yep. It's very hard to score when you have to 
go through three defenders. And that's why it's really good. It's really good at high school teams, really good college teams have great floor spacing. Mm -hmm. And they have great like, connection, great chemistry. Yep. <clears throat> All righty. Three minutes and 15 seconds left. Crusaders, you don't really want to shoot it unless you're wide open. Yeah. Because you're up by four with three minutes left. You just don't want to lose the momentum. Nope. And then if you get it into Carol Mazur, she just needs to turn around and take it up and try to get a foul. Yeah. Drawing the foul and just holding the ball is yeah. the biggest thing for the Crusaders. I would get the ball if you pass. Wait, is it five seconds? If, uh, wait, wait. It, if yeah. you pass the ball, the yeah. clock Five comes. seconds. That's my ball. Jenna Heidelk is going to drive. She's going to oh, pull up. Oh, and it's a foul called on uh, Boston Boucher, I'm pretty sure there. That is going to be Boston's first, first foul. Interesting. Yeah, I will say, though, it, D, I thought it was going to be travel. Yeah, so did I. I think that I, foul was before the travel, though, so that was good. Oh, it's, oh, it's intercepted, but no. Oh, wait. It is intercepted. Bailey Connor going to drive, and she's not going to be able to get the two-pointer to fall. Oh, and she is a foul in frustration for Bailey Connor. Crusaders not quite in the bonus. But if they get in the bonus, that changes the whole entire game. Yep, and because in the bonus, you want to put the ball in the hands yeah. of Jenna Heidelk. I believe she is the best free throw shooter for the Crusaders. Good screen there by Lexi Modloff. Way to get physical. Yeah, Jenna Heidelk, 25 for 30 on three, or free throws this year. Kaylin Mazur holds it at the top of the post. Foul there Boston on Boudry Boston Bowdry. And in this first quarter, fourth quarter, she has picked up two fouls. Yep. Only two for her, though, so not really too worried about that one. But now the Crusaders are in the bonus. Alyssa Wilson going to seven for Grace Herbeck. Now these are two big, crucial free throws because this are. makes it a two-possession game or three-possession game, depending on the threes or twos. Mm -hmm. or twos or threes. Oh, she misses it. Alyssa Wilson with the offensive board, though. Wow. That definitely helps the Crusaders. Great play by Alyssa Wilson when she didn't have the size difference. They were taller than her. But she made a great, great effort to get to that rebound. No, don't don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. They wanted Jenna Hyduck to shoot that ball. Jenna Hyduck's going to be fouled. That's who you want to be fouled. Yes. You want Jenna Hyduck to hold the ball as much as possible late in the Go fourth quarter. Go to the line. Because once you go to the line and start getting like start getting them to intentionally yeah. foul you, that's when you pretty much win the game. When you're in a close game like this, mm -hmm. they have a lot. They have to foul either the worst free throw shooter. Oh, she misses it! Wow! Wow! Game changer for Jenna Heidel. Four lost points for the Crusaders in the last minute. Karen and Paul catches it, and she's going to drive and get the oh, end. Oh, and the end oh, one for Karen. The shot is going to be on the floor. They're going to catch, I believe, Alyssa Wilson with a body foul on the floor. Nope, uh, Carolyn Mazur with a body foul on the floor. That is a third. Now, the one thing you don't want is both your big post getting fouled out. Yeah, definitely. They want, they're still wanting Hannah Pollock to shoot it. But she has not taken a whole th a three all Boston game. Boston Bowger with a deep three. That's going to be short. Riley Rice will pick it up. And she'll get it to Heidelk. Who's going to be fouled? All right, Heidelk. Let's make these free throws to relieve some stress From off of everybody. Yes. I mean, this is the biggest two plays of the game, or even one play. I mean, it's the screams by the um, 
I'm pretty sure the screams by the Wood, Wood River, River fans is really, really, really hurting Jenna Heidel with that high pitched scream that she usually <laughs> yep. never hears when she's shooting free throws. Nope. And a timeout call on Wood River. A minute seven left to play. This is where clutch anything, yeah, anything. comes into play. You yep. want, if you're shooting the ball for either team, because, I mean, the Crusaders can still get down here, but if you're shooting the ball, you want your best players, the Absolutely. people that can change a game shooting the ball. Yep. Crusaders have given up six points in the last two minutes due to free throws. Oh, and a foul called there on Riley Rice. Um, I think that it was not a foul because Riley Rice was not putting her body into no. Karen Polk. I think Karen Polk might have been on her way down when she bumped into Riley Rice there. It definitely looked like a foul unless you saw Karen and Polk's feet, which were heading towards the ground. Because the way that fouls work is that if you put your body into somebody and they're standing still, then it does not matter at all. It's Karen and Polk knocking down these clutch free throws. Wood River has maybe missed one or two the whole game. Which, that's making a difference. For sure. Biggest free throw probably of the game. She has sinks it. Wow. I think this is when Wood River's trying to get as much size as possible. Yep. I don't. It's going to be interesting to see if they're going to foul here or not. Because you have a lot of Because it's a one-possession game. They can take the lead in one possession. So do they see if they can Just, get a turnover in a minute? Yeah. Or are they going to foul right away? Now, I guess we'll have to wait and see. If the Crusaders have to be really careful with this press. I know that Wood River's going to press. See, if I was Wood River... Do you take the chance at fouling one of the Crusaders? Because, to be frank, they're horrible from the line right now. Yeah. So, it could be the risk-reward there. I mean, it's there, for sure. Yeah. And also, do you, if you don't foul them, who do you foul at the end? Because the Crusaders aren't going to get the ball in the four seconds, so they won't have a minute to shoot. I mean, it all depends. Maybe... It, it, you don't even know if whatever is going to have two or more possessions. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I would not foul here because it in, almost ends the game if they make the free throws. If they throws. make the free throws, yes. I mean, even if you're struggling from the line. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do foul, you're going to have to foul somebody like, yeah. I don't even know. Well, I mean, Jenna Heidel, the best free throw shooter is 0 for 4 in the last, like, minute and a half. They are going to foul. Yep. Lexi Mudloff. She is shooting 10 for 17 on the year, so not bad. She does not go to the line that much. Definitely not. Neither does Chloe Cloud, which surprised me. Chloe Cloud, a post player, only attempting 17 free throws before the season, or before, yeah. the game, or before tonight's game. And she misses it. Wow. Wow. That is... That's, that's big. <laughs> Crusader has given... Chance after chance to take away the game here from the Eagles, but they're just not capitalizing. And the real question is, is are the Crusaders going to press? Lexi Mudloff will knock down our second free throw. So a three will tie the game now for the Eagles. We enter the one-minute mark.
Boston Boucher going to have to step up. Not having the best game of her life, but... Oh, Jenna, it's a rebound by Hannah Pollock, and she misses it! Jenna Heido going to come up with the board. She'll be fouled. She will head to the line. Knocking down one of these would help a lot, but two yeah. would just be a little better. Two would almost make the game out of reach. I think Riley Rice got dead leg there, so she's on. Or she cramp. Maybe. Right. Riley Rice does not look right. She is not feeling well. I think she just got a calf cramp right now. Andrew but Spencer maybe going to go on the court and help her with that. It could be a calf cramp or something a lot worse. And I think she didn't maybe just rub it out. Wait, is she going to stay? Riley might, Rice might be staying on the court. What a gutsy play by her. I think it might have been a cramp. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe a cramp. Uh. <laughs> no, she does not feel well. Now, what do we do? I Grace Herbeck, I think, is maybe going to sub in for... Riley's walking now. Okay, they're going to let Riley Rice stay on the court. I mean, she's walking Until, through pain. There's not a doubt in my mind that it was either a dead leg or a cramp. Yeah. Because she just got fell on. I don't think it's anything horrible, but... No! <laughs> oh, man! Jeez. Jenna Heidelk missed it. Okay. Knocking down one of these would be very, be very nice. Just yeah. knocking down this one would make it... A, a two-possession game would be very good. Yes. And she... And she's short. Biggest three. Wow. Oh, but Carolyn Macer gets it. Give me a jump ball. Oh. Possession arrow is going to go to the Eagles. Holy wow. Cow. Jenna Heidel, the best free throw shooter around. Like, I'm not even, not on our team. Like, around. Like, in this building. Yes, in this building. Possibly. I mean, even, I mean, Crusaders basketball team almost is automatic from the three throw line. But, oh, no, oh, a foul. A foul called on. I don't know who, but it was. It's going to be on Heido. Oh, it's that's her fourth. Send Karen and Polk to the line. Let's see Karen and Paul next free throw sets. Looks like she is 65 for 80. Very good. But, I mean, Jenna Heiduck was pretty good. I know. So, but <laughs> Wood River maintains. Oh, and on she fire. makes it. Another shooter's touch. Now, uh, man, I just don't know what you do when you're Wood River if, she, if, if you miss this shot. Do you intentionally miss it to no. just tie up the game? I don't think you do. No. In my, in my opinion, right, she makes this. They're down by one, okay? Okay, you, you try you to get foul. a steal. No, no, you foul. What are the odds? Even if they make both, it's still a three-point game. Yeah, what so, are the odds that they're going to? And what are the odds that the Crusaders are going to make both when they're probably, like, she two for ten? Yeah. And so she makes both here. It'll be interesting to see if they go for the steal or the foul. I mean, if you go for the steal, that is the biggest play of the game. They have a short lineup in. So they're going to go for shooters. Ooh, and Boston Boucher almost gets a steal, but it'll stay with the Crusaders. 34.1. Turnovers are the biggest key. You do not want any turnovers. They're going to foul Jenna Heidel. Now... That's that's a great move by Wood River yep. because of the way Jenna Heidel shooting. She's got to focus, use her legs a little more. She's been short on her last four. I think Jenna Heidel, if she has this clutch gene on her, she makes these. Definitely. Well, I think we've said that about the last six, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Let's stop talking because I feel like she's going to miss if we do. She made it. Wow. A little Ooh. sigh, of, a little sigh of relief there for the junior. The second one is very big as well. Very big. She misses it. 
Oh, wow. what a... Karen and Paula now. She'll drive, she'll shoot the jump two, and it's gonna be no good. Alyssa Wilson comes up with the board, and she's gonna be fouled. Wow. Now this is the biggest play it is. of the game. Making both of these arguably secures the game for the Crusaders, but miss it. <laughs> miss one. All doors are still open. I mean, we thought we thought we thought this game would be over by now. The, the Crusaders could be leading by 14. I mean, when you think about it, all if you make every single one of your free throws here, it's crazy. But if you have Chloe Cloud in right now, you probably win this game yeah. by a lot because you have Chloe Cloud in in the post. Mm -hmm. Wilson, Wilson, she sinks it. it down. Wow. Now that was probably a bigger free throw than this next one. Yeah. Because the only thing that Wood River can do is tie this game up. Yep. In yeah. one possession. So. But the way it's been going, we just want the Crusaders to make it. She misses it. Wow. A jump ball. And it's going to go to the Crusaders. That's, that will be Crusaders count. ball. That's big. That is big. Great play by Riley Rice. I will say the Crusaders are more than choking on offense, but they're picking it up tremendously on, on defense. defense. Because they are locking down Boston Boucher. And she yeah. has that clutch gene, and I know she does. Yeah. And she they fouled Jenna Heidelk. Now, Jenna Heidelk, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. No, let's just all silence on the court. A chance to put the Crusaders up by five with 15.5 seconds remaining. Yep. Wow, holy cow. Shooter's touch, first one against another sigh of relief by Jenna. Now it's a two possession game. There and she, she makes is. it. <laughs> now this is going to be a quick amazing. three by the Eagles. An oh, it's a screen. charge. It's an offensive a, foul. A, a, a Not a charge. Illegal screen. Illegal screen, yes. This will send Lexi Mundloff to the line. No, wait. Wouldn't we be in the line? Because you're in the bonus. Uh, a moving screen. It's a foul. Yeah, but there, it's something about it. I It happened at, like a few games ago, I think. And they're going to foul Alyssa Wilson. Wow. Just wow. The closest game I've ever seen. One of them, at least. At least in this arena. I've yep. She Good made shot it. by Wes Wilson. Shooter's touch. That turns if th this is big because this turns it into a three possession game. Yes, three possession which game. Which pretty much ends the game. And it does. It, this game is so might be over. Eagles now looking for a oh. miracle. Oh, oh man. Over and back. I think the Crusaders just hold the ball here. Whoa. Crusaders able to fight through a lot of adversity in this game and going to come out with a W. Don't want to jinx them too early, but they are up by eight with nine seconds left. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you if they have to get three, three threes in, to win the game, at least in nine seconds, almost impossible. Yeah. Great Not game by both teams. Oh, oh. oh man. Hannah Pollock may be wasting a little too much time, and they she does. The Crusaders with maybe the biggest comeback of the year. Wow, that was, that was great basketball by both teams there, and all I gotta say is wow, great job by the Crusaders, able to come back there, losing Chloe Cloud due to fouls, and I mean, Crusaders, Crusaders able, able to come out on top. And Jeez. wow, just. 
Wow. Crusaders win 43 to 34. We got Brandon Cloud doing a little take the L there. <laughs> he he. All righty. Well, we'll catch you. I believe we have conference basketball this weekend. Yep. And we'll catch you later. All righty. Thank you.